Hey guys, I'm Rasarisa and welcome back to my Beauty Bunnies YouTube channel. So today we're going to be doing a hit or miss on this foundation. So I really wanted to review it. It's brand new from Urban Decay. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation. This foundation has a lot of claims. It claims to be waterproof, obviously. It claims to be full coverage. It claims to have a completely matte finish and it claims to be oil free. So starting off with the full coverage aspect of the foundation, I honestly do think it is so full coverage. It's one of the most full coverage foundations that I've ever used in my life. It covers all discoloration, all redness, all acne, like it covers anything you want it to cover. So definitely on the full coverage aspect, this foundation gets a thumbs up because it is so full coverage without feeling cakey. And that's really important to note because a lot of full coverage foundations do tend to cake up and I have not had any problems with this foundation caking up on my skin. It wears nicely through the day. It does have full coverage and it lasts all day long, which brings us to our next aspect of the foundation. Like I said, it does claim to be long wearing and I do really find it to be long wearing. I have worn this for over 12 hours straight and at the end of the day, it looks almost exactly like it did at the beginning so I think that's really impressive and going back to what I said before even with the long wear time it doesn't get cakey or patch off anywhere or get too oily in places it looks exactly like you first applied which is awesome so it does say that it has a matte finish and I don't find it to be so matte that it's drying if that makes sense because a lot of matte foundations do tend to have that kind of drying effect. I actually find it more to have like a satin matte because it is matte and it is, you know, it's gonna cover all of your imperfections, but it almost looks more like skin than a lot of the super drying matte foundations, which is obviously a plus. I mean, you don't want your foundation to be drying up anywhere or patching together. It's just not gonna be cute. So I do like the finish on it, even though I feel like it's more of like a satin matte. The last thing I wanted to touch upon is the shade range. So they do have tons of different shades available in this particular foundation. I have the shade 6.0 and the way you can kind of gauge what shade you would be is obviously light to dark it goes from smallest to bigger number, but the whole numbers are warm tones and then the half numbers are more cool or pinky toned skin. And they also have a few 0.25 shades, which are the neutral shades. So I do like how they kind of organized it. It's just really easy to remember in my mind at least. I find it you know, easy to decipher exactly what shade you would be and it's a really user friendly system to figure out your shade. But I do have to say the one thing about this foundation is that it does oxidize. Now it doesn't really bother me that much that it does oxidize but I just wanted to mention it to you guys because it may change your mind in what shade you're going to be. What oxidizing means is that it tends to get darker over time once it dries. When I first apply, it looks like a very light shade. This is the same foundation that I have on, and you can see the difference from my hand to my face, how much darker it is on my face. I'm gonna do another swatch once this dries, just to show you guys the difference. It's crazy. So these are the two swatches side by side. This is the foundation when it's dried and this is when it's wet. So you can see a huge difference and that's what I was talking about with the oxidation of the foundation. As the foundation dries, it's going to get darker like you see here. This is a huge difference, definitely noticeable. So personally, it doesn't really bother me that much to be honest, as long as I have a color that fits me and this shade fits me really well, which is shade six again. But for sure, you gotta take that into consideration when you're picking out your shades because it is definitely going to dry darker than when you first put it on. All in all, I honestly do love this foundation. I think it is a huge hit in my book. I have been using it non-stop and I think I'm going to continue using it. I think it's a beautiful foundation for the fall time because I like a really matte face in the fall for some reason. I just love the matte in the fall. So I definitely can see myself using this a lot coming up and I think it's all around such a good foundation because it does have a long wearing capability. It has, you know, a very full coverage effect. It has a nice finish on the skin. It's matte, but it's not too matte. It just has a lot of really great qualities that I like in my foundation. Hope you guys enjoyed this review of the Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation. If you try it out, let us know down below what your thoughts are because we would love to know. For more cruelty-free beauty reviews, you can always go to mybeautybunny.com and subscribe to this channel. And you can also find me on my personal channel. That's just Roxette Arisa. And yeah, I guess that's it. I will see you next time on My Beauty Bunny. Bye.